Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Jimmy with Tropicana Golf, and here we have Mr. Greg Osborne. Greg is the head pro here at Via Verde Country Club. And I asked Greg, Greg, I know that you work with a ton of average amateur golfers, and you have for a very, very long time. What are some things that you see over and over and over so that you watching at home, the average amateur golfer, can stop making these amateur average golfer mistakes over and over and over again? Okay, that's a very good question. Now, one of the things that is not talked about, I've watched people give lessons, I've given lessons, and it's a simple, simple thing, but I've watched amateurs on TV, athletes in play, and the thing is, where do we put our hand from our, uh, from our front thigh to where when we come through, everything just automatically flows all the way down the line. Now I have talked about shoulder before being in this position, but what I see is a common mistake is our distance between the grip, the thigh and where the ball would be. So for instance, when I step up to this, most of my lessons, when I first see them for the first time, their position of the club especially right now I'm talking with the driver, is much too close to the thigh right here. Now, if the ball is right here and I have the, I have the grip too close, when I come through, I have to come over because I can't extend through. This leads to the shoulder opening, the club hitting coming across and spinning out that way. Also, it leads to when I come over like that and the ball is too close, I'm going to really, really pull it to the left. Greg, do me a favor and show me like you're hitting the ball that way so I can really see the club. Do you want me to come this yeah, way? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so just sure. flip around. Sure. So, so show me what show me what the average amateur golfer does. It varies, okay. but the mostly they're too close. Okay. So the club, the butt of the club, let's call it, is too close to your yes. thigh? Yes. Okay. And your hands are hanging too far, just too straight far down. down. Okay. So, you know, it feels comfortable. But when I swing, I want to turn that knee and come through. Look where that club goes. Oh, on the okay? outside. Comes out there. Now, I'm either going to miss it yeah. or everybody has subconscious. Everybody sub their the motions when they come through, they got to hit the ball. So subconsciously, instead of extending through, I have to come like this. Okay. That's where you see people raise up. That's where we hit the ground. That's when the club comes across. I get a lot of good, really good athletes uh, that come out and say, hey, I played baseball, I keep hitting it right. One of the reasons is the ball is too close. Now, the majority are too close. There are some that will put the ball way too far outside here. It's too much of a gap. So I'm losing and stretching through. I'm losing my balance after mm. I hit it. So here's a way to solve it. Make sure when you come up, you put the club in your left hand. So when you come up, you get your shoulder set, but see where I have this? I got a full hand away, not three hands, not like a little fist. I'm finding the position where when I come and swing, I can let the club extend, hit the ball down the middle, and I can turn my knee and I can finish on balance. If I finish on balance, I'll say eight times out of 10, I've hit a very solid shot. That's the most, that's the absolute truth. I see people hitting it, stopping, falling over. And I, when I see when they actually finish and hold it, hold it, hold it, yes. the shot's always great. Because that particular shot you saw them do, they were in the right spot in to balance. let the club extend. So through. one club, I mean, one hand length about, and then when you position the ball, where do you want it on the face of the club? See, I think a lot of people, put it here, like on the heel, let's call it the heel of the club, when really it should kind of be out towards the toe. True, because because if I have it on the toe, now I can extend through and hit it. Got it. So, okay. and, and if naturally I have it when you swing, heel, yeah. I'm coming across it. And, and there, then, in the that natural right movement of the swing, your arms are going to extend. So now your club where it is here is now going to be even a little bit further. Absolutely. Yeah. The thing is, your left arm is straight or your front arm if it's opposite way. 
your front arm is straight. So I've come straight here. When I come inside, my, my back arm, which is with me as my right, is still in till after impact. That's where the extension comes. Got it. Now, if that ball is in a wrong position, I'm not only going to hit it, it's going to not feel good. I'm going to lose my balance coming through. Okay, so to avoid the hooks, to avoid the big slices, to avoid the off balance shots, make sure you position your your hands a little bit further away from your thigh. Yes. In a good comfort, not too close in and not where you're reaching. Exactly. Just so, so when you set up, like just put your arms here, put your arms here like the ball's there. We want to be able to have this knee when you come through and not have any false movement after. Mm. See, if the ball is too close, you're coming here. Here comes the knee. Now you got to stop, hit the ball, and now here you're yeah. off balance. Okay. So the setup and where this comes is when you practice, you need to find that position. Now, this is just with the driver. I mean, I was pointing out there and I saw some famous athlete in a celebrity tournament. He came up with an iron. Literally, his hands were right here. When he came through, he was like that. I, sh I shot it on the TV. Over the top. He was like this yeah, because he was so close to it. He had to do that. Bottom line is he hit it from left to right and he put it in the water. <laughs> so it's something that's overlooked. Everybody's thinking backswing. Everybody's thinking all this stuff. But the number one thing we have to do is make sure that when we come through, we maximize our swing to have balance. And that is the position of the club in a spot where when you come through that arm, you don't even have to think of it because it's in the right spot. If it's too far away, I'm off. If I'm too close, I'm off. So you need to find if some, which we, when the first thing I do when I get a lesson is I see where the position is fundamentally of the setup. And a lot of times, I would say almost every time, they're ready to kill it and the ball's too close because the club cannot get through with the hands too close. Got it. Um, so a little bit further away, give yourself some room so everything can clear and end in a nice... You're going to be amazed if this ball's in the right spot. You know that shot that you hit that keeps you coming back? That's the one. That's the one. That's because your position was your from the ball was perfect, so everything just flowed through on balance. That ball needs to be in a place where I come through and I just flow through on balance. Like I said, too close, I can't because I have to readjust it subconsciously, readjust the swing. Got so, it. All right, Greggy, why don't okay. you show them what a pro can do here? Let's okay, go through so your now, whole setup, walk me through it. Okay. So them watching at home can go through the same process you go through. Absolutely. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to pick my spot. Got it. So now when I come up, I'm setting the club. First thing I'm doing with my shoulder is extending it out. So when I come through, not only is the ball in the right spot, my shoulder's here. Remember, if I come across with this shoulder, it's going to go, uh, I'm not going to hit the ball solid. Got it. So I'm going to set the club down, get my grip. Now when I balance my feet, I got this nice gap right here, which is going to allow me so when I swing, I'm going to come through Great and I just shot. rip it down oh the middle God. and look at my balance. <laughs> that's okay. hammered, Greg. Well, wow. that's because... First swing of the day? First swing of the day. You got it. Man. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Greg Osborne. If you're looking for more of these tips, he's got it all. The guy's been around forever. He knows everything. He's my guy. Come see him. His number is down below. Schedule something. Come work on the little things that have put you through the ringer. He's got the answer. Greg Osborne. I Thanks again, Greg. I guarantee you're going to improve if you don't enjoy the lesson. You're going to enjoy the lesson. The don't, 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 don't give him all that. No, because it's not going to happen. Well, but... Listen, if you don't pay, just pay me and we'll figure it out. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Greg Osborne, come see him. His number's down below and on the screen right here. Thanks well, again, Greg. Thank you very much, Jimmy. I appreciate it. That's awesome.